Hello everybody, this is Shane Arman Rowe with Review Lagoon and Green Robot Gamer. We're going to take a look at an interesting little utility called Game Controller to Touch. Now it used to be that we used USB Joystick Center in order to map a real physical control to a touch enabled game that had no means of physical control. Well that kind of went away when Android uh, Google changed out the Android Bluetooth stack. So now we got all these great USB devices, USB game pads like the Nyko Pro Pad here. But unfortunately, while many games are adopting the game pad, we are having troubles with some people getting on board. So let's say you get this great new game like, say, Contra Evolution. Now it's a great old school arcade style shooter. But there's no way to use your own controls with it all touch screen right so you go to your options and you say ah controls and yet you have nothing you have three different touch screens and that's it so what we need is some way to map these buttons to this game so let's hop into the game real quick and take a look Alright, so in this game you have a virtual D-pad, which is totally useless, and then you have a fire button and a jump button. Right? Absolutely, we'll turn this on, we'll sync it up, and you'll see that there's absolutely no way that this controls. Okay, it's connected and no controls. So what I did was take a snapshot, a screenshot of this uh, screen. We're going to use that snapshot to actually program this guy in game controller to touch. Now the first thing you need to do, and I've already done, I've already prearranged this, but I'm going to show you how to do this anyway. The first thing you need to do is um, go into your configuration. Now normally you would have to go in and set up your controller input assignments. In other words, what buttons here equal the buttons it's going to do. I'm going to check our input assignments and you'll see what some of the assignments are. D-pad up, D-pad left, triangle, circle, cross, square, start, select, blah, blah, blah. As you can see by the check marks, I've already done the assignment. Far too easy here for this particular uh, demo. So we're all set up. Now what we need to do is go into the touch profile editor. All right, so you're given this nice blank screen. Long press the screen and choose change background. And I'm going to open up the screenshot that I took of the Contra game as soon as I can find it. All right, well, we can make another one. How about that? We'll exit, we'll restart. All right. Alright, so now we have all the controls on the screen. I'll take a screenshot. I'll take a screenshot. Alright. Now I'm ready to switch back. And I'll load the screenshot. Excellent. So now we see where all the controls should be positioned. I'm going to long press select add button and it's going to ask me what button I would like to add if I can give you a little closer view here right so there's a variety of different buttons that you can use right so I'm going to go ahead and select d-pad up and the button size I want is to be two times the regular size now, as you see up here the button is produced all I have to do is grab it and drag it over the touch control that I want now I repeat that process for each of my other buttons. Add button, D-pad right, two times. We'll grab it, put it right there, oops. Perfect. Well, pretty close to perfect anyway. I bet it'll do the job. We'll add another button, D-pad down, two times. There we go. Then we'll add another button, D-pad left, two times. Grab the button, place it here. 
Perfect. Now we need our fire button and we need our jump button. So we'll add a button, triangle times two, like that here. Then we will add another button, circle times two, and put that over our fire button. And that is it. Let's save this guy off. And we will call this, uh, oops, Contra. Done? Okay. Yes, we'll overwrite my old one. All right, perfect. So now all that's left to do is back out of here. Make sure we change our active profile to Contra. Change our input method to gamepad, the game to touch. And you'll see down here it detected the controller and it will tell you that touch emulation has started. Now of course remember this does require root access on your tablet or device. Alright, so now that I'm all set up, I'm ready to go back to Contra. And let's take a look. Oh yeah. Jump, fire. Now we can actually play this game the way that it was intended to be played. It's hard to play behind the camera. But there you go, that's all it is. That's as hard as it is to get your favorite touch game working with your favorite controller. And that is all compliments, once again, of this fantastic little tool, Game Controller to Touch. Now, once you have dialed in all of your buttons and everything looks exactly the way it should, um, then all you'll have to do to help out the organization uh, that's also trying to collect these things is um, you can go into configurations and then go to the touch profile database now the touch profile database is a site that I actually maintain that allows you to upload and download configurations for your favorite games I hope you enjoyed this uh, this is Shane R. Monroe with um, Review Lagoon and Green Robot Gamer uh, again check it out game controller to touch well worth the money